We're here with another agent success interview with Eli Burris. Eli, before joining the team at Beyond Realty, um, predominantly a lot of lot sales. Uh, what's changed since joining the team that changing your business to go from being the lot king to now doing a, a lot of home sales as well? <laughs> So I think the biggest thing for me was uh, learning how to increase the revenue uh, from other sources, uh, other than the sphere and the lots. Uh, so having joined Beyond, I've been able to uh, work with several investors. Uh, I now have a pretty strong um, realtor referral base from other state geographical locations, and just and just various other different lead generations that. It, that I wasn't privy to before. So, so I think that that's been a big contributing factor. And uh, yeah. yeah. So you're saying finding more people to work with and where to get your business from has essentially grown your business outside of just lots here and there into, you know, selling condos, listing condos, you know, regular residential pool homes outside of just Hundred percent, hundred percent. You know, for me, the biggest thing too was uh, coming from the service industry. I didn't really know how to run a business. So when I joined, when I got into real estate, they don't teach you how to run a business. No. Nope. So once I messed around and I, I started, you know, actually developing a business, I then needed to have structures in place. I needed to know how to nurture that business, how to gain more business, and having been with other brokerages, I, I didn't get that that leadership or that guidance with other brokerages so obviously from what you've just said you're working with a balance between buyers and sellers which is awesome um you generate more business that way consistently as well it's not you're not on that roller coaster right, right. what would you say through working with the team that's helped you get off that rich poor roller coaster and consistently Sure. Have business. Sure. Um, I would say the the systems and the structures in place um, that are you know instilled from day one from from our team from our team's mm -hmm. perspective. Uh, I would say that the uh, the accountability um, as far as you know uh, the teammates and and the team captains and above. Um, I would say that the the morning meetings and the, the guidance for the day uh, just gives me that roadmap or has given me that roadmap to gain those other, other sources. Um, I would say that would probably be it. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, what, basically what you're saying there is a framework keeps, keeps you guys on the tracks, right? Correct. The worst thing is when a train falls off the tracks, it takes forever to get it back up. Right. So if we can have you on the train tracks with guardrails, you're doing more consistent business, happier, better life, better quality of just everything overall, right? 100%, 100%. Um, without a doubt, everything that is in place uh, from, you know, again, I, I keep saying the structures and, 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 the, and the roadmaps, but all those have been key elements from, from watching my business grow from minuscule or mediocre mm -hmm. to Hey, I, I'm actually doing this. <laughs> there you go. There you, go. Well, it's, you know, what you're saying with the roadmap, the systems, process, everything like that, that's your foundation of your business. Without 100%. that, the house of cards falls. Right. You've got nothing. You've got nothing. You're just running around with your head cut off. This is the first year you kind of really went deep on the business plan. Previous years, we've done a business plan, but this was the year that Eli was like, I'm doing less units, up in my average sales price, so you're not in the rat race of having to chase units mainly lot listings or just doing a lot of land so you have to naturally sell a ton more to make up that that sales volume sure. to earn a living we really focused on that this year um what would you say has been a key part of not only coming up with that plan but sticking to it Ooh, um again the accountability from the team uh our team is very competitive and uh, very, very customer, um, customer driven. Mm -hmm. And when you see that every single day, 
Um, you don't want to be the weak link on the team. So you want to emulate what they're doing. Okay, what are they doing to get that business? What are they doing to, uh, to get that other source of income? What are they doing to get that realtor to call them to give them that referral? And I think just seeing that, and every day, mind you, every single day that uh, the old uh, term, uh, you are who you hang out with, right? Yep. So I think that that's just this it for me, just seeing the success and seeing the drive on everybody else's team, uh, on the team, motivates me. There you so. go. Another, another saying that rings true on this, success breeds success. Absolutely. Right? It's, it's you true. Know, we've got a blueprint. Everyone's smashing it. And we're not just saying that. It's, it's true. Real trends, rankings prove that as well. Right, right. You know, you, you couldn't have told me, like, oh, yeah, we're going to be the top 25 Crazy. team in the state, mega team in the state of Florida Crazy. is is wild, right? Small but mighty. There you go. There you go. Going back to the business plan, you want to do 29 sold units this year. Yes. Close and pending, you're at 24 as yes. of right now. we barely seven months into the year. Still got just under half the year to go. So from a unit standpoint, Looks like you're going to smash that, and yeah. you're on pace to hit your um, actually exceed your your overall dollar volume goal as well. What what would you say again? Kind of counting on what we just spoke about has helped you do this, but also you've done twenty four closed and pending deals. There's over eighty percent of agents that haven't even done three closings this year. That's crazy. What what do you think is part of the secret sauce that's helped you consistently do business this year in a compressed market where people just naturally are doing less and you're doing more. Right. The money's not falling from the sky anymore. So <clears throat> I would say consistency with what I'm learning. Um, what I'm learning through the team and, and, and what we're offered through the team, uh, you know, it's up to you to absorb it and, and execute on it. And, uh, and I think that me absorbing, executing, and being consistent with, with you know, how it's laid out, I think that's been a huge contributing factor to, to that, I, I would have to say. Just the consistency, um, you know, consistency on every different level, consistency on training, consistency on, on, on accountability, you know, where it, it's always, it seems like we're always being pushed forward. There you so. go. And I think the other, the other part of it is you're one of those guys that at times when you get busy, you can get a little bit overwhelmed oh, yeah. and, <laughs> you know, you almost like go under a, a rock oh, like, yeah. in a way oh, and yeah. that there's this like, oh my God, what am I doing? How do I keep up? What would you say that's helped you be able to do more business consistently? Now, I know from generating business, you're big into what we call is the 554. Yes. Right, so that's calling five people you do know, five people you don't know, and four follow-ups. Yes. That, that's like the most manageable piece, I think, for, that you've taken and just ran with it, and it, it has changed your business. 100%. There are so many um, different techniques to gain business out there, and for the type of person that I am, I hear them all and I can get overwhelmed. When I heard the 554, I said simple, easy, clean concise, direct, I could do that. And uh, implementing that has, it's, it's grown my business exponentially yeah. from just a simple five, five, four. Yeah. That's it. I mean, you know, uh, so now from there, what do we do? You, you compound and you, and you start to add the other layers to it. And then, yeah. you know, next build, year, this build, is going to be a different conversation. Build, build in a huge <laughs> lasagna. Um, and so also you've got, you're doing a lot of listings, a lot of pendings. I mean, there was, what, last month you had about six or seven closings back to back to back. Talk to us how important like a transaction coordinator is to you um, from never having that wow. and also having our, our admin team help you with the time stuck stuff so you can continue to do what you need to do to generate more business. Great question, because this is something that I thought that I was going to be releasing control of. I, I like to be hands on with every aspect of the transaction. So I thought I'd have a difficult time with that. But what I learned is when you're doing more than one, two, three deals a month, that that becomes harder to manage, right? So uh, the back end was new, having a transaction coordinator was new. And I can tell you 
that I would not be able to live without it now. Our back office is incredible. Um, Jamie is incredible. Norlin is incredible. Uh, they keep us on the up and up. And when you start to get four, five, and six, seven transactions in a month, uh, without them, I, I don't know where we'd be. I don't know where I'd be. Maybe. I don't know where I'd be. <laughs> Again, systems and processes, having that foundation to just smooth the ride out and yes. stop that roller coaster, right? 100%. 100%. Because otherwise, you're just going to get overwhelmed, stop doing lead generating tasks, right. stuck in an $8 an hour. Right. That's the stuff that was taking up my time when I could be picking up the phone call, right? Yep. Uh, or picking up the, the, the phone and making mm -hmm. the phone calls or knocking on the door. So, yeah, that's allowed me to increase my business by giving me more time. Incredible. There yeah. you go. Incredible. And you get your weekends back at the same time. <laughs> yeah. There know. you go. Well, let's touch on lead sources. Again, when you joined, you probably have one, two main lead sources. That was your sphere of influence and, you know, that sphere referring to Referrals some of business, sphere, yeah. right, of, of, of some nature. We are talking about it earlier today. I mean, you've probably gone from one and a half to two lead sources, let's say, to over six. And one of our goals here is to always get an agent ASAP four legs on their table, right? We can get you to six. Our, our saying is you can dance on the table. I think you've exceeded that with like seven now between... And you can jump in here and just say some of the ones you've got. So you've got your sphere of influence, um, investors, investors. You've got agent to agent referrals, agent, do those online leads through Google Pay per Click and in our Zillow Flex program. Sign um, calls, sign calls because we put your cell phone number on the sign. Right, they're right. calling you. It's yeah. not going to the office and getting scalped by someone else. Which we're all about your phone ringing at the end of the day. Right. Um, we've got, what else am I missing here? Oh, social media. Social media is a big I know one. That's, that's your biggest uncomfortable thing, social media, but you just picked up a list in that way. Correct. Uh, I picked up a lot of business through the social media and uh, yeah, it, it's. And then you've got, yeah, past client referrals as well. So, Correct. you know, seven big lead pillars. And again, I think that is why you're getting the amount of business you are because you're not just focusing or relying on one to two of them. Right. And, and just hearing that, wow, it's just from, from just a couple of years too. Yeah. yeah. So, incredible. Yeah. And then, you know, from that, I, we're big on listing attraction. We did a, a listing attraction workshop. And mm -hmm. I think that was one of the things where it's like, okay, I'm getting listings, but I'm not leveraging that right. listing. How can I get more? And I think that's something you kind of took to heart and took some really key points away from that to generate more listing business as well. 100%, especially in this market that we're in. Um, uh, if you're not listing, you won't last. Yep. So, and, and yeah, that was a big takeaway. Uh, yeah, just so many improvements. So many improvements. And, uh, so many more to go. So one of the key things that we're big on here is teams coaching um, with Tom Ferry. What have been your biggest takeaways from having consistent coaching but also, what are your takeaways of how it's changed not only your business, but um, personally as well? Wow. That's a deep question. But <laughs> it's a great question. Um, when we started uh, implementing this, uh, uh, the coaching, um, I was very nervous, you know, uh, something about having that coach in front of you. But I can tell you now that I crave it. Um, the, the coaching is incredible the uh the level of of knowledge that 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 we have access to that not every real estate team everybody is a part of mm -hmm. that's another thing that another reason why i joined this team um but the coaching has been incredible that the the various tom ferry coaching uh coaches that we've had uh wow the takeaway that's a tough question darren because it, it, i i literally walk out of those meetings with my jaw on the ground, typically saying it's time to get to work. So they're very motivating, inspiring, and, and we're lucky to have them. One-on-ones are popular, surprisingly, uh, in the team. How would you say that one-on-ones have worked for you personally? What do you get out of them and why are they important? <clears throat> Something else I wasn't sure how I would react to. Uh, um, 
you know, just a, an added layer of accountability. Um, uh, I can tell you now, um, much like the coachings, I crave them. Um, they're optional, um, but I but I take advantage of them as as often as I can for that personable personal accountability. Our sales manager uh, takes the time out of her day to spend a half hour with you to talk about you, your performance, what do you need, uh, what do you need to get there, or sometimes often, hey, you need to be doing this or you need to be doing that. Who wouldn't want that in their business, right? I mean, and it's it, it, it's every week, right? Yep. So. So every week you get a chance to either have a com an honest conversation with yourself on how you're doing or, or what needs to happen. And personal accountability, I think, is huge and key in this business. So, Right. I think it, it's also important that accountability holds you accountable to the goals that you've already set. Sure. Because that business plan and those goals you set, those are yours, sure. right? Yeah. We're, we're there. Lorena, our sales manager's there. The whole team's there to help you achieve your goals. So many other places, every year you do a business plan, but then no one holds you accountable no. to it. And then it, it you, gets, don't, you don't hit those numbers, and you're like, well, what was the point of me yeah, doing that? It's, it gets filed away in, 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 the, in the bosses, and it never talked about again. Yep. It, it, not, not here. <laughs> every right. week, it's, you know, this is where you're at in your goal. Yep. Uh, so yeah, that, that's been a huge driving force for me. Um, and, and I look forward to those one-on-ones, um, for that personable, personal, personal accountability. They, they definitely work. You're one of the people that really benefits fr from the accountability and kind of having your hand held to the fire. Absolutely. Um, and I think a good example of that was last year we had to up your goals three or four times throughout the year. Yeah, that's right. And I think that. That with the one on ones and that accountability helped you believe in yourself at 100%. the same time. It's like, I can do this. 100%. Yeah. I mean, if, you don't just join on board and, and, and there you go, make it happen. It's, there's so much involved coaching, one on ones, training. Uh, it's all there. And it is, has been a huge uh, part of my success in the last two years. No, yep. Two years yep. Yeah. yeah, man. It's been. It's been wild. Just seeing you Crazy. last year, it kind of that ball started rolling. And then this year, it's like it really clicked. And that, like I said, that roller coaster, you're not on it anymore. You, you got off that roller coaster. I like to think so. Yeah. yeah. I like to think so. I mean, the, you know, peaks and valleys and everything. But yeah, we're, we're in a different spot now. And, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, I, I couldn't be happier. And yeah, we're, we're doing it. We're there actually doing it. So what's your take on the team environment and culture for anyone that's out there that's probably struggling? Again, from a numbers standpoint, market-wise, there's going to be 20% less transactions done this year nationally. So we're in a compressed market. For those agents that might need some help, the coaching, the training, what's your advice to them of what they would get out of joining the team? um versus so being I mean, a lone wolf and and possibly out there just feeling quite alone easy question because i was that lone wolf i was that guy i was running around with my head cut off um starting the game business um i would say that the biggest thing if you're looking at a team or, or our team is uh right now and you keep mentioning the market that we're in it, it, it's a it, it's a different market and the money's not falling from the trees, so you have to you have to find the, you have to find your business. Our team is so dedicated to lifting stones. Where is it? Where can we go? What's the best way to get there? Uh, I didn't have that as a solo agent. Again, it was a it was sort of just running around, picking up things and putting it down, right, mm -hmm. with no real plan. Um, having joined Beyond and the Dowling Group uh, from day one. I, I, I saw, and of course I had to catch up and learn, but all those, all those systems are in place to get you to where you want to be. And, and, and that was it. I, I wanted to be around like-minded individuals, uh, people who, who love uh, customer service and have a passion for it and uh, always want to learn. And I found it here. So, yeah. yeah, it's, like I said, it is, I was like, family. 
thinking like Fast and Furious like quotes <laughs> here. But no, it is like everyone cares about each other and is is there to help each other out. I, I mean, even just down to the time each other we take out of our weekends oh, sure. to be like, hey man, you need a break. Let me open that door for you. Like, not even a hesitation. Never. Just like been on the calls every morning. You are just you know, working your face off, you're exhausted, we can see it, take a break, I got you. And then it's, you know, that, yeah. that, that comes back around. And I it's, think that's, that's, a, that's something different that you're not going to see many places. I, I would 100% agree. I, again, I've been to other brokerages. I've seen how teams operate. I, I, I have my ear to other teams um, because it's a small community, that I'm, that I'm, small but big. Uh, I, I really, truly think that we are doing something different here. Having seen what's out there, having seen how these other teams move, we are different. We are different. Yeah. 100%. And that, that, that was the goal from, from the get-go. Of you nailed of it. Just <laughs> agent-focused and, you know, there's no, uh, there's no only child prima donnas. It's, you know, no. sharing's caring and through that. I think that's why everyone's winning I, at the end of the day. Agreed. Agreed. It's, it's really cool to be a part of. Yep. Awesome. Not glad to have you a part of it and just seeing like your personal growth outside of just business as well. It's yeah. just been, been huge. Yeah. Uh, super proud of you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm happy to be here. Many more years. There you go. Go get some listings. That's it. <laughs>